Have you considered this? What is this? Joe Biden. Dope 70 Which billion. <laughs> um anyway my, my what's your opinion on sneeko if it's gonna be caught oh the, how to view women oh it's he did this like, he's a f***ing troll i've i've like literally shit all over him right you're asking women about men cat calling why it makes me really sad when i don't get cat called because then i'm like do i look ugly so you'll slide in my crib Huh? What? You can pull up to the crib? What? You can pull up late night, like on some sneaky. Sorry? Like we can sneaky link? What is that? That's is this it. your job? What do you do? What's your life? What is this? What's going on? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to view women. Dude, like most men, I've forever. heard some negative feedback on my ability to properly coexist with whiny over dramatic females. What sticks out to me after filming random women like a PI for three days is all the footage of them brushing their hair. Bro, this dude was like, this is healthy. This is a healthy way to f do things. I am going to go and, f and film random women and harass them. Dude, I, I, this is, wow. It's pretty good. Smart stuff uh, from this guy. Definitely not creepy. Definitely not weird. Good stuff all around. What are you doing? Don't worry about it, dude. I got it. It quite literally is is not working though. It Wait, like so doesn't I, pick up so the you signal. Could, so basically, I could have a mic too. Yes, but it doesn't pick up the signal. It, it's like I tried. I don't want to mess. It's connected to everything here. You you want to you want to go fuck around with the with the auxiliary cord the the DSLR. It's not a DSLR. What is this? XLR. Uh, the XLR to auxiliary uh, converter doesn't work. Anyway, let's continue. They spend so much effort on looking good, but their biggest issue with us is our creepy male gaze. She just wants to feel pretty and you're telling her cheesy pickup lines from Google. But it feels impossible to act normal around someone that's literally carrying gold between their legs. Even when she gets under your skin, what she got still feels worth it. You try to push away those feelings because when she realizes your intention, she loses interest and kind of thinks you're pathetic. Your self-worth is dependent on her opinion, and she starts resenting all the creepy, horny, jealous male anger that comes with it. At some point, it's time to stop thinking like this. That's how the same woman who was pursued for her beauty ends up discarded and cut in half by some guy. Maybe she can do more than spread her legs. Maybe if you look closer, you'll see something you never noticed before. What is this? I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> the thing I don't understand is like, he went so far to like incel territory that he started recognizing that he's an incel. What? No. Like check one two. Yes, it does. Let me see it. No, it doesn't. Here, there's no different lines. No, it's not muted. It's just uh, that's the option. No, it's not working. Hold on, we're we're trying to get Austin's uh, microphone to work. No. Wait, you gotta leave? Yeah, yeah. What the? F that's fucked up, bro. How are you gonna do that? Wait, talk again? Oh no, this is just line out. That's line out. He, they can't hear you. They can't hear you. Oh, that's just a sampler. Talk again? Not working. Austin is leaving chat. He will. He, they can't hear you. Hold on. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, go ahead. Don't fret, dear chat. I will return to you very shortly. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter, and I'll be lurking in the deepest. I don't know what the fuck. Just I'll be back soon. All right. Are I'll be gonna, back. Are maybe, we gonna? Are we gonna hang out tomorrow? tonight? Yeah, yeah. You wanna hang out? I may even come back later. Who knows? But you uh, won't be streaming. But uh, I probably will be. Wait, why is he not streaming? I'm excited about this. Uh, well, I just, he may not be, is what I'm saying by the time I get back. Uh, well, uh, thank you all for having me. Thank you for being so nice and friendly and yeah, okay, good, good job. Good job giving, uh, a, a community full of young, uh, queer zoomers abandonment issues. Okay. Who's the real homophobe now? <laughs> That's right, dude. This hey. dude literally showed up to feed you his meat. Yeah. He gave me the homophobic meat, dude. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right, peace, bro. Hillary 2024. All right. See you later. Bye. All right, I'm I'm putting the noise gate back on. Unless you have some hot takes that you want people to, be able to nah, hear. My hot takes that I gotta get back to work. All right, get back to work then. All right, noise gate is back on.
And once again, we are alone, chat. Once again, we are alone. <sighs> All right, we're back. We're back, boys. Don't worry about it. You know, it's like, you know, we had some fun. But, you know, you're not you're not alone because you got me, okay? And yes, we will do MasterChef in a second. You are one rude motherfucking dude. Wait, why am I a rude dude? Wait, why am I a rude dude? What the f How? We don't want you. All the cool people are gone. You are not that bad. Guess you'll have to do. Okay, guys. They're not here anymore. Like, you're still shitting on me. What the f I thought when we were alone, at least you would be, you know, saving me. And, and, and you know, being nice to me. And maybe if you don't, all the girls your age will have learned their mistake and avoid some guy like you forever. But you also want to have the ability to sweep any girl off her feet. Not in hopes that life is going to open the door on somebody better, it's usually just some guy's damage decks. But because you're insecure and women's admiration makes up for what you're lacking. It's selfish, but you're tired of lifting women up on a pedestal only to doze off mid-conversation on a $90 date because you're talking to a girl who never had to develop a personality. Viewing women like romantic balls of joy is just as dumb as objectifying them because your heart will always get broken. Now look at you, broken no bitches. You're worried that if you keep viewing women as accessories for your life, you'll be that guy whose wife was found in the back of the I don't get it, like who is this for? Like, I, I just don't understand. I mean, I guess I guess it's for like a bunch of incel dudes. Like what, I, I, he's not cosplaying as an incel, he is an incel, by the way. But like, he went so far off the deep end of inceldom that like, he kind of recovered and started like recognizing how much of an incel he was only to get more incel like again the trunk so it's time to go outside and meet real women platonic and celibate i'm gonna do all the research i can on how to untoxify myself and figure out the right way to view women so for only 150 dollars, i hired a pickup artist on google to coach me on running down on women in the street cassidy, cassidy, cassidy. oh my god someone said he's trying to do how to on hbo and failing disastrously is that what he's doing uh huber you think he watched how to which is by the way nathan fielder's show He's the executive producer. I miss him. I wish he would do more fucking content. And then he got like, he's like a kid. And he got like really excited. And he just like copied the version of this. Pleasure. Just thinking we could walk around, talk. Basically mix it up a little bit. We got 90 minutes. It's, uh, it's an art form. It's not respected anymore. When you talk about pickup artists, it's a negative connotation. People hate them in the, in the media. But you still call yourself a pickup artist? Me, I would say seduction expert. Oh, wait, I think we see something here. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'm going direct. Excuse me? You, you know where H&M is? I'm not from here. Uh, if you go down that way, you'll have to it. Uh, I got confused. Someone's like this way. Uh, that's okay, a... you make a left. Okay, thank you. All right, that's an indirect approach. You use it as a warm-up. Uh, excuse me really quickly. One second. You got... Now, that girl did not stop, but that's okay with me. Like I said, I will show you one more stop and we will switch mics. This is the moment I started wondering if I got scammed. Okay, it is 7, 12, like three minutes, yeah, three more minutes. Um, I hope you're learning something from this. Um, it's a lot of walking, a lot of walking. Um, not getting upset or anything, just being chill, relaxed. Chill, relaxed, cool, uh, 7, 13. Excuse me, really quickly. I best stop now, I guess it's 7.14. Uh, slim pickings today, but uh, all right, I guess, guess it's your turn. 7.14. I didn't, I didn't really see much. All right, all right. That's that white girl stuff, just walking around barefoot and shit. I'm just asking my friend. I'm trying to like get this for my little sister. I'm not sure if it'd be good for her. Oh, okay, what, 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 how old is she? She's like seven, like, I don't know. This, is small. this too old for her, you think? Smaller. What size is this for you? I'm medium. So I guess you guys are like 18 and going to start yeah. next year. Actually, my 18th birthday is right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, dude. Oh, okay, that's... uh, Okay, bro, that's when you pull out the uh, the, the parachute cord, okay? That's when you're... Uh, eject, 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 eject. Oh, God, that is sus, bro. What the f***? Thank you. I would hug you, but we just met. That's awesome, bro. I got it. Bro, this dude literally said, I would hug you, but we just met. To a girl that said, I'm 18. I just turned 18. What are you, Drake? Is that what you think? Huh? Are you Drake? 
My man thinks he's Drake, dude. Weird when Drake does it too, by the way. But for a guy who calls himself a seduction expert, his demeanor made every woman feel comfortable. That's what's up. We like that, we like that. Oh, sure. That's cool. It was so nice. It was a pleasure. Take care, guys. Yeah, take care. That was worth the money, but I definitely need another lesson. Well, this is, this is really cheap. Like, I, like, I'm really rich. Like, I have a lot of money. I can get, like, really cool jewelry, too, right? Right, right. Right, right, right. Just like you, right? <laughs> what? 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 Is this an agent? And if anything, it strengthened my idea that women are objects of beauty that I need to worship for approval. My education so far wasn't very feminist. Maybe spitting game is just a crutch for communication. So for only $37, I bought a ticket for a speed dating event exclusively for people in their 30s and 40s. But then I had to wait an hour in a corner with the five other men who- Bro, this shit is so sad. Like, that, this- Oh God, this outnumbered sucks. the women. Not a big change. All right, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> This is an even cringier how to with John Wilson. Yeah, he's trying to do that. I think my loneliness covered for the age. When I started doubting even coming here, I remembered that this was a learning opportunity from seasoned women. This experience should fix my misogyny and maybe find me a cougar. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Carmen. Hubert. Right, right. You can call me Hubert. 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 Speak French. Oui, je parle français. Okay, mostly. You stay in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. yeah. So I come to Brooklyn a lot many times. Okay. So we'll catch up there. So you'll slide in my crib? Huh? Huh? What? You, you can pull out. I mean, he's just like making fun of a desperate, like, 40 year old woman who's like, uh, whose English is like her second language. To the crib? What? Kind of yikes. You can pull up late night, like on some sneaky. Sorry? Like we can sneaky link? What is that? How old are you, by the way? How old do I look? I don't know, 20? 20? No, but this is for 30s and 40s. Ah, uh, no. I don't believe you. I'm, I'm like 44 or 45. Uh, you are yeah. that? How old are you? Like Bro, you just react to crucify people? I mean, dude, I don't I mean, it's, it's, it's not it's bad. Not the video is not like the worst video. He's done some really shitty ones. Uh, no. I just think this is like... Like, you could have made a fire video with this. And this dude is talented. He's good at, like, making videos like this. And he obviously has no fear of, like, approaching people in public. The only problem is that, like, he's too much of a fucking incel to, like, make an actually self-reflective and, like, funny video. Because he's too... No, I mean, he did a really good copy of How To. Like, that's straight up the truth. He did a really good copy of How To. It's, oh, it's more cringe, but whatever. He is actually... I mean, this is a person who's doing this on his own. You know what I mean? He's like a 20 year old kid who's doing this shit all on his own. Like you're not doing anything like this as a, as a content creator myself. Like I see the value in what he could do. Okay. But the, the unfortunate part about it is that like, he is too heavily slanted on the incel side to like actually make like a funny, uh, actually make a funny joke about this. You're looking like young. Can I see your ID? <laughs> you oh, I need to write down your name, right? Oh yeah. 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 Okay. And I need to rate you like one out of 10. I, I, no, I think you just need to put up a cross. Oh, oh. Where do I, I write your bank account somewhere? <laughs> well, you will not know that information. Who is your favorite man so far? Besides me. Like, who is the, who is the best? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is going to be way easier than I thought. You give me your number? Oh, uh, yeah. Number? Yeah, I'll get your number. And when I come to Brooklyn or Times Square, we, we can, can go to the Sneaky Link. What? We can Sneaky Link in Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yeah. 22? <laughs> Something like that. Don't worry about my age, it's not important. Like, I have to mention for 28, I'm 27. Oh, you're 27? Yeah. I'm 28, actually. Tw I shall? Yeah, yeah, 28. I don't date people younger than me. Why not? Uh, that seems like a weird prejudice. That's discrimination. <laughs> Bro, he's like trying to fucking debate Lord. The, like, yo, that seems kind of prejudice, though. It's like, dude, what the f Like, <laughs> like how? Oh, Jesus Christ. He's just like, he's that's trying actually, to debate. That's actually, that's ageist. That, that's ages. Those are also 30. What about uh, yeah. you? Uh, I'm about 45, 46. No, you're not. Yeah. I know, I, like mentally. Well, like your actual age. No, but like spiritually, like I, I, I identify you as. Feel as no, I, like I, I converted. Like I'm, I'm trans age. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God he did it. I was gonna f die if he didn't do like some transphobic jokes. 
you know, eight minutes in, I was like, where is the transphobia? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, come yeah, on. Like, but technically, okay, technically, I'm 16, but like, <laughs> men Okay, I can't watch this. This. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's Master Chef time, baby. Here, let's look at this Jordan Peterson oh, video that he uh, wiped off the internet that Fakaktis wanted me to watch all events. day. But first of all, I want to make a slight detour. So one of the things that's happened to me since I put um, my lectures on YouTube is that I frequently come across people claiming that I sound a fair bit like Kermit the Frog. And uh, I wasn't really sure. No, no. Oh my God. Okay. It was worth it. Oh my God. It was totally worth it. This video is actually worth, dude. But I frequently come across people claiming that I sound a fair bit like Kermit the Frog. And I uh, wasn't really sure what to make of that. Um, it might not have been my first choice for Animal Avatar, although I suppose it could be a lot worse. I mean, Kermit is a pretty good guy and he's a decent spokes frog. And, uh, and a good organizer and and all of that so but anyway on the i didn't ban him i didn't ban him chatters shut up university of toronto campus so that was another major act of synchronicity as far as i was concerned but one thing that's kind of cool is that i had this mask made by charles a while back and this is a frog so there there now i've got my my quack the quack 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 people are a tribe bro he literally deleted this video. Okay, so there's some tea around this. He talks about how he's like, uh, he has like origins uh, to the First Nations people. And I think he deleted it because like the tribe was like, no, you're fucking lying. People who live in, in uh, on the west coast of Vancouver Island and um, they have a remarkable artistic tradition, which I've been very interested in. And I've had a lot of work done by Charles, who, as I said, is a residential school survivor. And he made this beautiful frog hat for Damn, woke Jordan Peterson talking about residential school survivors, bro. Look at that. I wonder what his take is now. You just pulled that out of your ass? No, dude. There was some. There, the reason why he deleted this video is because, like, there was some f drama. I can't remember. God, Jordan Peterson fanboys are so f annoying. Like, they have to f immediately be like, no, I know everything about Jordan Peterson. I know everything about Jordan Peterson. And that's why. I hate this. Not true. It's not true. Controversial professor has used his links to the Kwaka Waka people as a shield against accusations of racism. Um, Peterson's connections is derived from his friendship with traditional bonds of Charles Joseph, an accomplished carver. Earlier this year, I talked to Charles Joseph, who confirms Peterson is not a member of the people nor the tribe. Mischaracterizations are ironic given his admonish, admonition. Be precise in your speech. It's good that you consume some liquor this time instead of letting some Indian steal it. What the f the novelist to whom Peterson has sent the offending speech. Uh, I don't know. On January, Herb was explained on Twitter that Peterson was referring to an inside joke involving a self and identified Indian bartender who duped Herbert's out of a bottle of bourbon. Peterson encouraged Herbert's use of his link to the Kwakwaka -Kwak people to use the thoughtless language. Indeed, he has never been shy to promote his connection to protect himself. He suggested, if by KKK you mean whose nation I am a member. Okay, so he just pulls the dude. It's the it's the white person car, bro. He's just like saying that you're a member of a tribe when For me. people say you're racist. And so, and here's something cool too. So, I asked Charles about the significance of the frog in Kwakwakwak mythology, and he said the frog is a harbinger of dangerous, uh, dangerous times because if anything pollutes the waters, then the frogs disappear. And of course, that did happen almost all around the world a few <laughs> years ago, and because the fro frogs have very sensitive skin, and so they pick up anything that. That, that has gone wrong and it interferes with their ability to to reproduce and to live. And so I would say that as spokes frog, I'm announcing that there's something polluted about the water in which we're all swimming and that we better clean it up and or there's going to be trouble. So um, there's a bit of synchronicity for you. So what I've been doing this week is working out the details of the debate with uh, with the dean. Someone who's actually of native descent is so fucking funny. He thinks having a friend there makes you a member, but white people really are just like that. No, instead, they should be like me, a Turkish man, who will say that all Native Americans, all First Nations people are technically Turkish. That's right. They are. Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Science, David Cameron. Okay. Do we do it? 
Should we do it? Wow. I miss him. I, I miss him so much. Like, it's not even a joke how much I miss him. It's just like I parasocially miss Joe Bastiani. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>